So, about this bank, when I'm when I'm interpreting this idiot what he was saying, I'm very sorry, Winnie Dolo. I don't have any respect for you, because first and foremost, the Constitution of Uganda, the oath that you signed, does not give you powers to come and sit there. Ngoli nane bie enyuma. Ngo tambula no musulo. Eye nkala jyo tambula na yo. Oje ota ndiko ku intimidate inga bantu. If you know. Omanyi problem je muli ne Uganda. The problem you people have. Is when you hear that they are calling you my lord. Like this. Owinyo dolo. If you. The problem you have. Because Museveni gave you cars. Whereas. There is no netata wote ya ina wa de motoka. Museveni gave you air conditioned cars. Museveni instead of paying you like a judge or like like a supreme judge, he's just paying you like an agent. That's why you have the capacity to come and start intimidating Ugandans. This is why you guys you have agreed to come and your brain, that's why your brain ceases to exist. Because there is no judge. In this, I've been in Europe for years and years. Even if when they were uh, trying Osama bin Laden, who has killed lots of people. Even if they were trying, you can never speak such a language. So what you are doing is, this is what Museven Kadas, this is how they speak. This is how Museveni Kadas speak. Where did you hear that there is someone who is trying to intimidate you? Tell me something. Because we are not trying to intimidate you. Mind you, from the bottom of your heart, Ochimani, no neyo maski jo yamba de. Neyo underwear joolina. Let's hope until yamba underwear. Those are all our money. That is all our money. So, as per the constitution of Uganda, we have the right okay to come and talk about today. Jawen karayo jije wo winyi dorochi mani gochi mani. We don't want you to be into that case because you are a cadder. You are paid to talk and act stupid. That's why your brain ceases to exist and you come up and talk like... You are talking like Omuntu Ali Amacha. Professional judges don't talk like that. Professional judges sit down and see. If they don't have confidence in you, ask yourself, why? What have I done? You don't just come here and you start intimidating Ugandans. Because we know to akus laba Congo against the Wamu Seveni. O Wamu Seveni akusiaga. That's why you you end up talking like an idiot. I'm very sorry for the language that I'm using. But na basa jaba tu mani ranyo. Ne inja galokuba kakasa. I want to assure you guys. The Chief Justice you o winye dolo. Wachi Wamu Seveni ya take a walk at Butera. O baba katurebe o bana ani. Why did he put you there? Ochola, why did you put what you put you there? Enanga, why did he put you there? Because he wants to spoil you. At the end of the day, he doesn't want his guys over his gang to be involved. To get the mass. Because one of the things the Lord God denied him is fear. Once he has conviction that what he's doing is right, and if it is a judicial function, he's doing it in accordance with his understanding of the law, as he has applied to the evidence, you may have to make a discovery that the person you think you know, you do not. So, speaking for the Chief Justice, whom I know very well, <coughs> Council, Rest assured that whatever is circulating outside there will have no bearing in how this court will determine the matter before us. As a matter of fact, 
this application came after the alleged utterances. Then that is evidence that what was being said there was idle talk. Astaghfirullah al-Azim. But now that Kumanya Museveni has reduced to our country, muabala ba video yangu eno. Museveni has reduced our country to okula ba bantu nga ba chief judge a judge like this who has a PhD in law. Because you know Owinyo Dolokati, you know it very clear that Museveni arrested Bobby Wine and he put him under house arrest. Because you guys were targeting those 10 days to submit the petition. You know deep inside your empty head that Bobby Wine was arrested and he was under house arrest. So now you want to make yourself stupid that my DSTV was not on. This is how you guys, Museveni has reduced you guys. This is how, because you said that our, our petition, our evidence, our affidavit is dated before. Therefore, it is not relevant. Why do you agree to act like Museveni? Museveni did not go to school. Museveni failed P2B. He did not even see the blackboard. Why do you sell your soul? Because when Museveni will be leaving this country, he will leave it alone. Or when you do, you know for sure that your children are in USA. You know for sure that we can find your children. Why do you agree? Museveni abakoze sebi nitu wabiyo kusiru webiti. E chintu chino chino manyo. It was meant for whatever reason, but I consider it idle talk. Because if somebody truly has no confidence in me, he will not come before me. See? If somebody doesn't have confidence in you, it will depend on your words that you are talking. Njaka lo kubaka kasa, mwe stupid you are. We think for our context, the context of coming to the Supreme Court, we knew the outcome. We knew the outcome of the, school, the Supreme Court. That's why we came there. And you have categorically clearly demonstrated the outcome of the, of the, the what? Because there is no court that can take away or that can chase away the evidence. Tewali yo koti monsio na. Kubanga, the case is in the circle of law. And yet, in order to come to a verdict of a case, you have to have evidence. So, when you are bluffing, into, if you don't have confidence in me, we came to you, we came to you, Judge Dolo, to prove your stupidity. So that you can demonstrate your stupidity. And now there you are, you are demonstrating your stupidity. Tugenze maso. 